Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for, for J July 18, 2022. If you like supporting the channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So we had quite a good day today as uh, economic data, at least from the United States, was really good, while economic data from China was uh, really bad. But that is uh, mainly due to the uh, lockdown that we haven't been seeing recently. But the United States data retail, uh, retail sales was uh, uh, better, much better than expected. And therefore, economic um, outlook was, uh, well, pessimism wasn't that high today as it has been the last few trading days. So we had a fairly good rally. As you can see, we are up 1.56% uh, uh, at this current stage and trading at 11.99K. So this is the weekly uh, forecast. And as you can see, we have kind of found fairly a uh, big amount of, of support down here at the 200 moving average. If we go back into history, we can see that the 200 moving average has been significant support for the Nasdaq for a very long time. There have, of course, been um, instances where we have fallen below. For example, here in the dot-com bubble, we did fall significantly below the 200 moving average. Also in the, uh, the great financial crisis, we also fell significantly below. But still, we're not in the dot-com bubble. We're not in the financial crisis. We don't have the, the, the biggest one of the biggest bankruptcies uh, in history uh, going on, uh, not at least yet. Uh, so what we may be looking at here is one of these pullbacks, like we saw back in 2018, that we saw back in 2020. So it may be a massive pullback towards the 200 moving average. NASDAQ is down at this current stage, roughly 30%, was down uh, more than 30%, roughly 35%, which is a significant pullback, but that is to be seen whether or not we basically uh, create a bottom here and then you see a rally into the future. doesn't mean that we'll not fall further. It just means that we may uh, rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 12.9K or the 50 moving average, which is 14.5K or even higher than that. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for the weekly we can see that we have the 38.2 right here at the 13.2 50 13.9 and 61.8 at 13 14.6 and that's around the 50 moving average so we may be looking at the rest of the year something similar to this rallying up towards the 50 and then uh, dropping lower um, at this current stage there's quite a um, significant support bottom here. We have tested it several times this area and we have seen buyers coming in every single time. But that is to be seen. If you look at technical indicators as well, we had the MACD still in negative territory, but just about to cross the signal line. We have the stochastic, it has crossed the signal line becoming bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage and at very low levels. So if we were to drop below the 200 uh, moving average, then we may drop towards the previous highs here of 9.7K. Uh, this is the highest before the drop in 2020. Um, don't see this market turning around to the all time highs before the Fed basically has finished its uh, rate hikes and its quantitative tightening and so on. So, but rallies, they do occur. We did see a significant rally here where we fell all the way to the bottom of the bullish band, rally to the 50. We're at the bottom of the bullish band now, and we may see a rally up to the 20 and the 50 before going lower. That is also possible, but time will tell. So let's like let's look at the S&P 100. Very similar story here. We haven't even gotten close to the 200 moving average, but if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is becoming flat. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, but still flat at this current stage, and the RSI is flat as well. But here also, occasionally we have rallied up towards the 50, broke down up towards the 20, broke down towards the 200, and at the moment we are finding support down here. So the question is whether or not we rally up towards the 20, which will most likely move in this direction, 
and then get and then drop down or that we rally up to the 50 and drop down uh, if we were to drop below uh, the 200 moving average we can look at the Fibonacci retracement support this this market could drop towards the 50 which is right at the 200 and moving average or the 61.8 which is down here at the 3192 and after that we'll go significantly lower but at least around this area here should be where we'll find a significant uh, bounce in the market to the upside as i said 20 simple moving average or the 50 in probably best case scenario so let's look at the, the dow jones so dow jones uh quite a big rally today we're almost up to two percent uh, one point is 75 percent of this current stage and uh, also here 200 moving average has offered significant support as it also has in the past we did break significantly below here in 2020 is not holding as well as the nasdaq but we can see bouncing up 20 200 bouncing and also here and we may see the same here there's if look at historical aspect uh, for the for the dow jones this doesn't look like a very significant drop not at least yet it is not the same as we saw back in in um, in um, for example here in in um, that the greater financial crisis that we uh, the market drops uh, uh, even more than 50 percent we are only down roughly 20 25 percent in the dow so there could be a lot more room to the downside but still at this current stage we have the 200 moving average that is offering support if it holds and we rally from here then we have the uh, uh, 20 simple moving average in the upside it will, it's at this current stage at the 32.7 and then we have the 50 which is at 42.2 so both of these could be areas where we find a resistant and uh, drop down but if we rally above this and take out these highs then there's nothing that's basically in between this for going significantly higher macd is still uh, bearish stochastic is flat and the rsi is flat as well so let's look at the European market. So European market has found find a bottom here. So first of all, this market is significantly oversold. Both last week and this week today, uh, we have found uh, the end of the week basically rallying. But we're also way outside of the bullish band. We're also very low in the RSI. So a rally at this stage could be possible. 200 moving average should offer resistance. 20 simple moving average should also offer resistance and the five uh, and the 50 moving average should also offer resistance we're kind of making a double bottom here and we need to basically break it below this area and I don't really see us doing that before we have a, a minor rally either towards the 20 or the 50 before breaking down macd is still very bearish stochastic is also bearish and the rsi is is bearish and on the edge of being oversold so let's look at Japanese uh, uh, Nikkei and as you can see 50 moving average is definitely the top of this market we are nearing that that point but also 200 moving average is the bottom so getting close to this 200 moving average which is trading at the uh, 24.5 that is basically where buyers got, got in to buy also up here at roughly 25.5 is should also be an area of interest for where basically buyers come in and um, buy this to the upside if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is flat stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish as well so we may see this rally up towards the 50 uh, and then break down yet again towards 25 and breaking below that that opens the door to the 200 which is at the moment around 24.5 so let's look at the wix wix has completely turned around um today and you can see that we went all the way up towards 28.79 and ended at 25.33 so volatility is uh, in decline and um, and uh, fear therefore is also in decline we have the roughly highs here of 33.85 and we have an uptrend line here 
which is roughly around those the 50 moving average, 200 moving average here, that we are most likely gonna bounce from. If we break below this, which is roughly a 24, 24, and then 200 moving average comes to play, it's just 22, uh, 31. So yes, we may see um, volatility drop until uh, until the Fed announces its uh, interest rates um, decision and expectations are all uh, from 50 basis points to 75 basis points all the way up to 100 basis points and uh, um, yeah that is to be seen um, due to the fact that inflation is still significant um, we could see uh, 100 basis points uh, from the uh, Federal Reserve of course that would most likely create massive amount of volatility and also fear in the market and this should most likely go up if you look at the MACD, it's still bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well so momentum is definitely to the downside and therefore should also be uh, bullish for these indices so let's look at the 10 year it's 10 year trading at the 2.9 at this current stage 20 simple moving average should offer resistance as it has done in the past it is around 2.7 at this current stage dropping below that and then we may see this drop significantly lower 50 moving average all the way down here at two so if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so momentum is definitely to the downside and usually when it gets um this overbought and overstretched and we have this shooting star here this tends to drop significantly lower but that is to be seen we basically need to break this level in order to do go lower from here so hope you found this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and good weekend